So how long has it been since the last time you saw your family? Um, since the end of 2019, so three years and five months. Three years and five months. <laughs> Extremely extroverted kids when I grow up, very expressive, energetic, and active all the time. I was always the funnest one to be around.、Um, I had nothing to worry about. I think everybody liked me. So Marilyn, hello. What do you think about the lunch book today?、Mm, wow. Delicious. <laughs> Didn't you just say a little bit salty? <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little、That's、bit. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. Thank you. I remember there was one day my father offered me an opportunity to go to Shanghai to finish my high school, so I volunteered to go. I think that was the time. That I start to have the idea of belonging, because I was trying so hard to fit in, and I always ask myself, is this the right place for me to stay? So, welcome to my room. Very simple. Tada! So. This is the only furniture I have: a mattress, my sleeping area,、um, and here's my、um, temporary bookshelf, box, suitcase, and、uh, most importantly, my closet. Bella. <laughs> so I lived in Shanghai for almost ten years by myself. Uh, finished my high school and college, so during that time, I only see my parents twice a year.、Um, I remember my my family moved a couple of times, and my father was always in charge of decorating my room, from the furniture selection to the color of my curtain. I don't know it. If it's because we had totally different definition on beauty, <laughs> I never liked that room. I feel like it doesn't belong to me. It doesn't say my name, or maybe I always feel like I I don't belong in that house. Well, I came to the states in 2019 fall to start my master program here in San Francisco. Um, I started living in rental houses, and I moved all the time. So this year is my last semester here in school. I feel like maybe this is the time to get out of my comfort zone again. So I decided to move to Los Angeles. I remember there was a friend of mine,、um, one of the closest friends. She asked me once, "I really don't understand how can you live your life without knowing what's going to happen tomorrow every day. It's driving me crazy." I think that was a very good question, actually, because the idea of.、Uh, Living in the same life every day is driving me crazy. So I guess that's why I constantly jumping out of my comfort zone and trying to find my next belonging. Have a certain answer for any part of my life right now at this moment. I'm about to graduate in three weeks, and、uh, I'm sending out resumes every day. And、uh, even this place, I need to move out at the end of July again. 
So I feel like I'm always on the road. But maybe that's the meaning of finding our belongings by keep searching it constantly by question yourself. Good afternoon. Welcome. By asking every single one of your decision, what do you want? Where do you want to go? Is this the right place for you to stay? I think maybe that's the meaning behind my journey of searching my belonging.